Hey there, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, foggy, uh, about to rain, uh, kind of day. Uh, throwing the big old swim baits, going for the stripers and largemouth bass. Uh, they just stock 5,000 pounds of trout, which is a lot. Huge amount of trout to go around. Uh, a bunch of shore anglers fishing for trout at the moment. Uh, they just literally stocked this. So this is probably the best ideal time to fish for uh, big old stripers uh, throwing these swim baits in the morning. Uh, have like maybe three or four hours before it actually starts pouring. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, brought three swim bait rods and a trout rod. So trout rod would be last, last resort. Um, but yeah, try to get the big fish first. So let's go, stay tuned. That's a far walk. I might be hiking for a little bit. But you know what? Um, the close points, they're all taken by some anglers so it doesn't hurt to uh, travel a little bit Ooh. seen some trout swimming by so good sign hopefully the stripers come in oh you see that look at that, look at that. A big old sore right there oh that's big that's a big trout right there all right, so what we're gonna do is uh, set up those uh, big old, big old swim bait dead twitch right here. We're just gonna throw those out and we'll leave it dead twitch. These stripers, so they run by, take a nip at it. Hopefully, we'll throw this out and then let this sit, watch it while we fish another bait. Oh, lots of trout right here. First cast and. I'm just gonna let this rod sit right here. Oh, a bunch of trout swimming right there. And pretty much I'm gonna be fishing the top water. It's a fin bait, one of the best walk the dog uh, top waters. Let's set my drag right. Open that way. I'm gonna slowly work this on top. See the game biters. With all these uh, trout swimming around the shoreline. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bass are fired up. So I might throw a host in next. I don't get no uh, action on top water. I saw a bullet, I saw a bullet. Alright, I see two trout right here. Can't resist, but uh, try to catch them. Got him. <laughs> there you go. Got a jumper. <clears throat> oh, this is a bass. Well, oh, this is, is this a smallmouth? Oh, this is a smallmouth, guys. Dude, that's freaking awesome. I seen two trail and this guy just came and hammered it. Hey, look at that. Nice little smallmouth. That's a pretty cool small mouth. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Go ahead and reposition this one bit right here. Ooh. Casting this wears you out. Lobbing this one one pound swim bait right here. Right here. I think I see a, another a trout, so try to give it another go. Let me see where he's at. That, that small mouth was uh, chasing these trout and it happened to eat my uh, crappie jig instead of the trout. So, that's fun. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Big school trout, big school trout. 
These school trout. They're probably scared. Not interested. But still getting used to the water. All right, it's been super slow uh, seeing trout uh, cruising the shoreline. Uh, seen some blow ups on the stripers, uh, but nothing going for the shore anglers throwing the big baits, even for myself. Pretty tough, so uh, we're gonna stick around, uh, maybe cast a couple more. And it looks about to uh, sprinkle a little bit earlier, so a couple more casts with the big baits, and then uh, we'll walk back to the boat ramp and then try to catch some more trout before I head home. So let's get it. Stay tuned. A long way back. Right, let's give us a shot. There's a biter. Yep. Oh, easy release. Oh, that was a small one. <clears throat> They're uh, the fish are a little deeper. Oh, yeah. Um, suspended. Yeah, these are fatties. Let's give this a try. Get away from these trees. Nice trout. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Tough, tough morning throwing the big swim baits. Uh, nothing on the top waters or the big old one pound plastic swim baits. Uh, it's the perfect condition for striper fishing, uh, regardless if the trout stuck or not. A lot of trout swimming along the shoreline, 5,000 pounds of trout. Definitely a lot of trout to go around for fishermen. Uh, I did see a lot of activity with the stripers, uh, they're just blown up on those 
trout way out deeper. It was too hard for me to reach with my swim bait. But I think tomorrow morning would be really good. Uh, stripers know that the trout are here now. And so tomorrow morning, they'll be roaming the shorelines for sure. Fortunately, I brought my ultralights, so I did catch a smallmouth and also a few trout, uh, a few trout came on button and also broke me off. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that, that uh, thumbs up, uh, that like, comment down below, and also subscribe um, for future videos and content that I will be producing. Uh, I'll definitely come by tomorrow at the same lake, hopefully for better luck with the big stripers. So until then guys, see you on the next one. Stay fishing.